What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'll be going over LinkedIn sponsored content ads. So they are a type of ad format that you can use within LinkedIn. And what you may not realize is a lot of the ad formats are considered sponsored content ads. Now let's go over a quick example first. So we're in LinkedIn campaign manager here. Let's come over to our LinkedIn feed and you can see right here, this is Adobe document cloud and they have a report how to bring out the best in your hybrid teams. So this would be considered a sponsored content ad. So they have a piece of content here. They are sponsoring this piece of content. When I click on download here, they're asking for my email address, my first name, my last name, state where I live, postal zip code, and then my company name. So this is all related to my individual LinkedIn profile. And then if I enter my phone number here, so I'll just enter a fake phone number. So if I enter my phone number here, so now I'm going to be sending my email address and my phone number directly to Adobe. So when we click on submit, what you're gonna see here is information sent to Adobe Document Cloud. Now they have my email address and they have my fake phone number. And they also have the other information that LinkedIn sent as well. So it says, thanks for signing up, access your content by clicking the link below. When I click on view now, this will pull up the PDF that they sent to me. So now I can read through their PDF. So this is one way to sponsor content. And ultimately what you're trying to do is within this PDF, they're going to sell you Adobe products. So that's ultimately what the goal is when you're trying to get people to sign up for some type of sponsored content advertisement. So let's come back over to LinkedIn campaign manager. And for this example, let's just pretend that I am offering some type of free niche website strategy ebook. So we have a landing page here. If we scroll down, how to grow niche websites. If people come down and enter their first name, their email address, get your niche website strategy, then I can add them to my email list. I can start targeting them with content related to building niche websites and they can get their free niche website ebook. So ultimately what your goal is, is to try to use content to say, here is how we have demonstrated expertise. And if you continue to follow along with us, we'll continue to send really great content and eventually I'll probably try to sell something to them. So that's what you're trying to do is grow your list so that you can sell to your list or so that you can keep your list engaged with all of your future content. Now, the other example I could use is I have a chat GPT, a uh, bunch of different prompts here. So a huge PDF of prompts. I gave this away for free when I was uh, creating chat GPT tutorials. So I have this huge list of prompts here. I can use this as an advertisement as well. So let's go over some of the different ad formats that we can use and also some of the different objectives when we're creating LinkedIn campaigns. So I already have this grow niche websites document ads campaign group. So you can create a new campaign group if you haven't already. I recommend using campaign groups depending on whatever it is that you're promoting. Create a separate campaign group for whatever you are promoting and then house all of your campaigns within that campaign group. So we have grow niche websites document ads. So if we come over here, I created a couple different campaigns, lead generation and an engagement campaign. If we come over here to our ads, if we come over here and we click, this will open up our advertisement in a new tab. So let's look at what our advertisement looks like. Struggling with website traffic, download our guide to grow your niche website fast. So you can see right here how to grow niche websites, free download points directly down, download document. Now this one, since it's an engagement campaign is going to show people the entire document. So you would definitely want to use lead generation campaigns rather than engagement campaigns if you are using document ads, because with this, people can easily just read this, never give us any information. And basically we're just sponsoring, spo basically just boosting our content to reach more people. When really what we're trying to do is we want to build our list. We want to build our overall customers that we can potentially send out our content to or any of our products or services that we're offering. So. This is what a document ad would look like. This is the lead generation version. Now, if they click do download document, what this will do is it will just download this document directly. They don't even need to give me their information, unlike the Adobe version, which would be a lead generation document ad. So let's come back over here to our campaigns for this one ad group, click on create and create a new campaign. Now, when we're in our creating our new campaign, first things first is going to be selecting your campaign group. So we're in our grow niche websites, document ads, campaign group. We're going to click on next. When it comes to objectives, you can use really any of these objectives for a sponsored content ad. So you're going to see brand awareness, website visits, engagement, video views, lead generation, and website conversions. The only thing that's not sponsored content is going to be job applicants. So each of these are going to be based on whatever goal you have with your campaign awareness. The goal is if you look over here, 30 day reach website visits, the goal is 30 day clicks to your website. Engagement is going to be 30 day engagements. 
video views will be 30 day video views. And then really what I would recommend using are lead generation, 30 day leads is going to be your key result. And then website conversions over here is going to be the total conversions that you've driven. So it's not showing over here on the right hand side, but that's going to be what your main goal is with website conversions and lead generation. The main difference being with lead generation, like the examples I just showed you, when people enter their information, they can just download that document and view it directly from LinkedIn without ever having to go to your website. With website conversions, you add that extra step of actually sending traffic to a landing page and hoping that people actually fill out this form. So let's come back over here to LinkedIn and let's just say we wanna use a website conversions. We scroll down here. First things first, you wanna set up your audience. So your audience is going to be based on who you are trying to target with your advertisements. Who is going to be the most likely to be interested in whatever you are promoting? So if we come over here, cause this will be relevant for really the whole entire video. I recently created a full step-by-step -step LinkedIn ads tutorial. So if you're looking for a little bit more information about LinkedIn ads, I just created this video. I will put this playlist in the video description so you can easily find it. I have my LinkedIn ads conversion tracking tutorial here and my complete LinkedIn ads targeting guide. I also show you how to do retargeting, how to do lead generation campaigns, how to create video ads, how to create document ads. So if you watch this video and you feel like I haven't gone over every single thing with sponsored content, please go to this playlist and you can learn how to create some of the other ad formats. You can learn how to set up your conversion tracking and you can learn all the different targeting options you have within LinkedIn. So let's come back over to our campaign manager. So first things first, you would want to set your audience. Now I don't know if I have one saved here, but we'll use our blog and SEO audience. So what this says is people with specific member skills related to blogging and SEO and people who have job titles of writer, blogger, search engine optimization specialist. So this is about growing niche websites. So maybe a decent audience to target, but I would definitely want to target people who are more likely to just be growing websites. So we have our targeting now all set. Let's scroll down. Now this is where you choose what your sponsored content is going to look like. So you can use single image ads, you can use carousel image ads, video ads, you can use text, spotlight, message, or conversation. Now, if you're running sponsored content, really what you would wanna be using are single image, carousel, or video ads. You could also use document ads for some of the different campaign types. So up at the top, you can't use them for website conversions, but for lead generation, you can use document ads. And instead of creating ads, you actually upload a PDF. So I have a PDF of my how to grow niche websites here, and this is what I actually use as my advertisement. So this very first page of my PDF is what's used in the advertisement. So that's why you want to make something that's visual and something that people will be able to see that looks really better than what this looks like right here. So coming back over to LinkedIn, let's say we want to use website conversions and let's just say for this example, we're going to use single image ads. So we're going to choose single image again. I've gone over carousel image ads previously. So we'll scroll down here, carousel ads. I've gone over video ads. So if you have more questions about some of these different formats in this video, I'm just going to be going through single image sponsored content ads. So we scroll down next is going to be our placements. So for this, we're going to use LinkedIn and the LinkedIn audience network budget and schedule. So I would highly recommend using a budget that obviously fits what you're able to spend, but, the minimum daily budget I generally recommend is at least $50 for a campaign. You can lower it, I would say, to $25 if you want, but it's going to take a little more time to test your campaign, see how it's working. And this is why within a campaign group, you should create multiple campaigns, use different ad formats, and you can also use different objectives within the same campaign group. So I can have a lead generation campaign with a document ad, a lead generation campaign with a video ad, a lead generation campaign with single image ads. Then I could do website conversion campaigns with single image ads, with carousel ads, and with video ads. So you could have six total campaigns running, run them all at $50 a day, $25 a day if your budget's a little bit smaller. And then what you can do is over time, see which ads are actually driving the most leads for you. And then you can adjust your targeting as you go as well. Just once you figure out which ad formats and which objectives are working the best for your business. So let's keep scrolling down here. Let's say our daily budget's $50. We'll just say we'll run this campaign continuously. Our optimization goal is going to be website conversions. And then our bidding strategy will be maximum delivery. Now next is going to be conversion tracking. So the way I have this set up is when someone fills out this form, they get sent to a thank you page on my website. So we can easily track that thank you page. And what we can do is just say, we'll use this thank you page example too. 
get rid of these other conversions. We just want to focus on anytime someone hits that thank you page after they visit our website. So let's scroll down here. We'll click on next and we will confirm save. Once you save your campaign for LinkedIn, your objective and your ad format cannot be changed. So we're going to click on save. And now what we want to do is create ads for our campaign. So let's create a new ad. And what we can do with single image ads is we can upload five ads at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my advertisements now. Okay, so I uploaded my ad images. The first three ad images are really just the front cover of this book here. So just how to grow niche websites. But what I did is I used a few different size images. So one is a square, one is a landscape, and one is a vertical image. So the other two here, one is a square, and then one is a landscape or a horizontal image. I'll show you my ads at the very end here because they don't look that great until we go up to the top and start entering our introductory text and our destination URL. So we know our destination URL is this landing page right here. So we can paste our landing page and now we need to add our introductory text. So let's just do something along the lines of, okay, so I just have struggling with your niche website, grow your traffic and supercharge your revenue with our free e So we'll name the ad at the top. Okay. So we have our ad named at the top. If we scroll down here, we have our ads. We can enter our image alt text here. So you just want to make sure you describe each individual ad image. I'm not going to do that for this video, but I would recommend doing that when you're creating campaigns. Next is going to be our ad headline. So we're going to put, okay, so we enter our headline here and our description line. So next is going to be our call to action. So for this one, what we can do is something like download. So then we know that people are actually downloading our ebook. So you could also make sure that you put in your headline, download our free ebook. So that's just another way to use that call to action in your ad copy as well. Now looking at some of these different ads, so I have find your niche, free niche website strategy ebook. Here's our call to action download. So we could look at a few of these different ads. So we'll look at ad one, okay? And you can see what ad one looks like right here. So this is what a horizontal image looks like or a landscape image. So let's look at ad number two. We'll just be looking on the desktop feed. They're not showing my ad two on the desktop feed. So let's scroll down here and you can see this is what ad number two will look like on the mobile feed. So let's come down here and we will do desktop feed for ad number three. Okay, so pretty similar, but this really just the image sides make your ad look a little bit different. So depending on the image size you use, you can actually use kind of more vertical or square images and it makes your image much larger, which also makes your advertisement larger. So now we have our ads all set here. We can click on save ad. We're gonna add these to our campaign. Now this is how you create a sponsored content campaign. So essentially what we're saying is this free ebook that we're offering is our sponsored content. If you want access to it, you're going to have to give us your email address. We could do that with the use of website conversions campaigns, or what you can do is also use a lead generation campaign. So essentially all you're doing is changing the ad format that you're using and you are going to be using. So if we create a new campaign, do this one a little bit quicker. So we'll click on next in conversions. You're going to choose lead generation. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom. We can set the same exact audience. So this different audience, but let's just say we're using this audience here. So you can use a lead generation campaign and you can use a document, single image, carousel image, you can use video, message, conversation. Let's just say for our example, use a document. So we don't have to worry about sending people to our website. We just want people to download that document right from LinkedIn. Our selected placements for this will just be LinkedIn. This lead generation is not available on the audience network yet. Now our budget and schedule, let's say we run this campaign at $50 a day, scroll down, maximum delivery could still set your conversion tracking, but again, your conversion is really going to be anytime someone is filling out that lead generation form from your ad. So now we'll click on next, click on save, and then all we'll need to do at this point is upload our document. So we're gonna create a new ad. We will update, upload our document. You can see the file types that they support right here. So let's choose it. Okay, so we named our advertisement, introductory text, download our free ebook, how to grow your niche website fast. We'll scroll down here. Previewable pages for here is just one page. So we don't want people to, to be able to see the entire document. You may want to offer a few more pages. So if you want people to just get started reading it and then maybe they'll give you their information after they start reading it. Headline, we will just say how to grow your niche website fast ebook and then form details. So what you could do is create a new lead generation form right here. They're very easy to create. So if I do my niche website form, that will add this form to my existing advertisement. So now we'll have our document ad and we have our form set here so we can click on save ad. And now you can see our document ad here, how to grow your niche website fast ebook. So let's view this. So basically this gives us a 
preview one of five pages, download our free ebook, How to Grow Your Niche Website Fast, takes the image directly from the first page of our PDF, unlock full document, so somebody just has to give me their email address and it will send me this additional information here. Grow your niche website fast. This easy to implement, implement 10 step strategy will grow your niche website traffic and earnings. So this is how to create sponsored content campaigns. This is considered a sponsored content campaign. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. You can use sponsored content with a lot of the different ad objectives and also with a lot of different ad formats. So give it a try, see how it works for you. Rather than saying, okay, come to our website and contact us for our services, essentially, and you'll see sponsored content right here. Essentially, what you're saying is instead of saying, go take this action on our website, it's really going to be, hey, look at this awesome piece of content that we created, and then hopefully that piece of content will get them more interested in your brand than they were earlier. So then you sell them on your products and services. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.